back, okay? This is the upside of doing an advanced position and having to do one year of general medicine first. You get to have one last experience with all the specialties that you really liked as a med student, but that you won't get to do for the rest of your life. Even though they made me do surgery, <laughs> I'm excited that I get to do OB as well. The OB department is always so much cuter than the rest of the hospital. <laughs> So I'm changed into my scrubs now. Let me take this off so that I can speak to y'all more clearly. Anyways, the OBGYN floor all wears these purple scrubs. These are a little bit dingier, but they're usually this color. And I like this color better, but these are the pair that the Scrub X machine gave me. So now that I've changed, I'm gonna go get sign out with the day shift PA from the night shift PA, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so after changing, I am meeting up with the day PA. This is Karina. So she got sign out from the night PA, and then we have our lists here, and then we're gonna go see the postpartum patients before going into a C-section. So we're scrubbing in. Obviously, when you go into the OR, you have to be completely sterile. So we have to wear these lunch lady fishnets. <laughs> They're called bouffants. <laughs> and then in OB, we also put on these really large booties. Normally you just cover like your shoe, but you know, there's lots of juices in delivery. <laughs> and I also took off my watch and all rings because obviously not sterile. Where we're scrubbing in. Okay, so she's sterile <laughs> and I can't touch her and I can't, you can't touch anything blue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go scrub in. Then it has a little nail pick so that you can pick under your nails. So one side is the sponge, the other side is the brush. postpartum notes because I didn't get to do them before the surgery. So we have three moms in labor today. We have like tachometers on their bellies and that just monitors like their contractions and it monitors the baby's heart rate um, just to make sure that everything's okay. And then we have this huge screen right here and it shows the fetal heart rate monitoring up there. So this line is mom's contractions, which basically is just monitoring mom's uterus. And then this line is monitoring the baby's heart rate. So <laughs> no, you're so cute. You should do Yes, can we look right here on the floor? We are going to the ED right now, Karina and I have a suspected, suspected Aryan cyst rupture. Oh, she's syncopized. Okay. Now we have to see what we're gonna do. 
Okay, so we're going downstairs to the ED and then we're gonna check her out and then maybe admit her upstairs to OB triage. Let's see. <laughs> so the patient was fine. It looked like she had a hemorrhagic cyst that actually just ruptured. Her CBC looked okay. So we're just gonna monitor her for like about an hour and see how she does and then have her follow up with her outpatient OBGYN. Yep. Basically, it was a small amount of fluid in the pelvis. Had there been like a large amount, we we're still considering, you know, probably like surgical intervention. Mm -hmm. Her hemoglobin is, you know, 11.1. .1. We'll do like a four or five hour CBC, see if she's stable. But um, it looks like, you know, there's no, you saw old shell, there's no more cyst. Yeah. And, and just a small amount of fluid. <laughs> this is our attending. Say hello, I'll give you some famous. <laughs> Thank you for the pizza, Dr. Migliaccio. This is Nanita. Hello. She's my Filipino mama. I love her. <laughs> yeah, I'm her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. That's right. <laughs> this is Adele. I mom, love her. Mom, <laughs> About to go in for the second C-section of the day. This one is a brand new mama. This is her first pregnancy, so it's gonna be her first C-section as well. And so it should be easier. In the last one, it was a repeat C-section, so she had some scar tissue, but everything went fine. And the attending let me close the skin and he said it was actually really good. And that's on being a future dermatologist. <laughs> this is Janexi. I love her. She's one of the scrub techs. They're so sweet. Hi guys. <laughs> so I'm going back in for another C-section. I think I've changed my mind on this rotation. I really like surgery. I think I didn't like it in med school because I didn't get to do anything, but they're actually letting me do stuff here and it makes a world of a difference. patient just came in in preterm labor so we have to take her back to the OR because her membranes are hourglassed which means the fetal membranes are bulging through the cervix and she's not due for months so we have to prepare an OR for her because we already have another mom back who is already under anesthesia and everything's already set up we have to call in a backup OB, backup anesthesiologist. So it's a little crazy right now, and I'm just writing an H and P and staying outside of the OR instead of scrubbing into this first C-section, just in case anyone needs orders, because I'm the only doctor on the floor right now. What a day. It is my very last day of OB. We just delivered a tiny premature baby. And that was crazy. It was back-to-back -back surgeries, that first C-section and then the emergency section. And then as soon as we finished the second C-section, walked out of the OR and another mom had delivered vaginally like right then and there, like baby just flew out. And oh, it's just been a crazy day, but what an awesome way to end OB. Like I'm going to carry this experience with me forever because it is my last experience doing this and I love it so much. Not as much as I love derm obviously or else I would have chosen to go into OB, but I'm really happy that I saw so much action on this last day. LND is crazy. Sometimes it's chill and sometimes this happens. <laughs> Let's see how the rest of the day goes. We got a new consult in the ED. Today is a day. They're sending her up to OB triage and I'm gonna go see her. Hopefully everything's okay.
I'm going to see the OB triage patient and get a history and physical from her. Just kidding, they weren't ready for me. <laughs> the nurse is in there triaging. And then I'll go and do a full history and physical and examine her afterwards. We've had four deliveries today and it's only four. It does not feel like it at all. But I'm so sad, it's my last day. So glad I got a lot of action in, but still really sad. <laughs> clean with my little hair wrap in. I just wanted to show y'all that I actually shower because I got a comment on one of my previous videos asking why I don't shower and I was like because I'm a resident. <laughs> no because I just don't put it in my videos. I'm sorry but here it is you guys. I promise I shower sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey friends, that's about all that I have time to do tonight. <laughs> Kovu's ready for bed, I'm ready for bed. I will see y'all later and hope y'all have a good night. Mwah.